look at how global investment firms are betting big on India's growth story. International private equity firms are investing tens of billions of dollars in India. The pace of economic growth, the demographic, dividend and the ease of doing business have lured these investments. Take a look at this next report for more details. The world's largest asset management firm Blackstone staked its future on India 20 years ago. In 2005, the firm established an office in Mumbai and quickly invested large sums of money into minority stakes in over six companies. The financial behemoth was compelled to write down some of its bets to nearly nothing within two years, and it was in retreat. Amit Dixit, Blackstone's head of Asia for private equity, said, We were new to India and we were learning. The sector was finding its feet. Still, Blackstone persevered, replacing its India boss and insisting on buying only majority stakes. The firm has created a profitable business in India by diligently recruiting a new breed of entrepreneurs and working to connect its properties to companies it controls worldwide. According to Blackstone, the returns from investments made in India are the best of any country they have worked with and the country has surpassed the United States and the United Kingdom as their third largest investment market. India's rapid economic growth, large pool of qualified workers and relaxed corporate regulations have made the country an attractive destination for private equity firms. Foreign funds are increasingly directing their resources to the most populous nation in the world as interest in China wanes. However, they continue to encounter obstacles such as convoluted tax regulations and barriers to buying publicly listed companies. Still, according to consultants Bain & Co, international firms have boosted their investment in India five-fold over the past decade. The expanding stock market has also made India a strong destination for foreign funds. In recent years, PE firms have been adding staff in India, funding sectors across the entire economy. KKR has invested in eyewear maker Lenskart and school operator Lighthouse Learning Group. The firm has invested about $3 billion into roads, renewable energy and traditional power generation. Carlyle Group has a stake in VLCC which develops weight loss solutions. Sweden's EQT AB works with Indra IVF, a chain of fertility clinics. Blackstone holds stakes in more than 80 companies and has become the country's largest commercial landlord. Foreign investors have sought a relaxation of rules in a regulatory environment long been wary of outside capital. According to a Bloomberg report quoting sources, a couple of years ago when Prime Minister Narendra Modi met Blackstone Chief Executive Officer Stephen Schwartzman, they spoke about India's tough laws on taking listed companies private. Private equity managers want India's laws on mergers, acquisitions and bankruptcy to mirror those in more established markets. However, it remains to be seen if India's new coalition government can push through such reforms. Business Bureau Report, Vyond, World is One.